welcome back to the channel everyone in this video I'm going to put together everything we know about that exotic mystery box so far including the three keys the location and guide on how to get them the weapon that we believe is going to be coming from the mystery box and of course somebody has data mined some new information including a quest step that I'm gonna let you guys know about in order to save you from that nasty RNG later now the quest step is what I think is the most important so I'm going to talk about it first and that quest step is going to be completing one of these black armory powerful gear bounties I believe our now these bounties be drop like from completing one of Ada's daily bounties that she has that was completely RNG whether or not you are going to get the powerful bounty to complete just to put it in a little perspective I do have three characters now I've done these bounties on two characters every day and I've only seen one of these powerful bounties come out of them. Now there are seven different types of these powerful bounties that can drop and it's going to be completely at random. Now some of these are going to be pretty long and possibly take you a couple of days to complete. Now the one that I ended up getting was the Bountiful Bounties, complete daily and weekly black armory bounties. Now she only has five daily bounties a day so if you're just doing a dailies that's going to take you three days to complete just that one bounty and if you have the weeklies it's still going to take you two days now it's not the amount of time that's going to take you to complete these bounties that you have to worry about it's the drop rate that you're actually getting them so if you do have one now and you're working on it I would recommend holding on to it until later on in the quest before you can actually use it and if you didn't happen to get two of them you can go ahead and use one because you're only going to need one for this quest step to come now what weapon are you going to get after putting all this effort into opening this mystery box. And that is strongly believed to be the Izanagi's Burden. Now who doesn't want a one shot body shot sniper for the Crucible? Now this is believed to be because the Jotun and the Lamonarch have both been declassified at the same time, leaving us to believe that the Jotun will be a random drop doing powerful gears just like the Monarch. Now that would leave the sniper being the only exotic left from the Black Armory in making it be what has to come out of that pesky mystery box. Now moving on, there was the three glyph puzzles being found in the Volunder Forge, leading us to a little message telling us about when the fourth forge will come into play. Now upon completing those glyph puzzles, you will get an emblem, and an emblem is used to activate the crest beacons that you find in the Volunder Forge. Now once all three of those beacons are lit, we get an encrypted message behind the forge on a monitor. Now when this message is decrypt, it says, with eyes fixed, past dawn's end, the fourth flame will rise, bring the knowledge obtained to the raiders of secrets, still thyself. Now this is saying that after the dawning, the fourth forge will begin to come into play. Now after solving those glyph puzzles, Bungie's came up with a twab stating we have more in store after the new year. The community is currently solving puzzles and undercovering the secrets of the forges and the families who created them. Nagabi Labs is set to go live on January 8th. It's not a dungeon, but an event that will eventually unlock the final forge. So there you have it guys. On January 8th, Nairobi Labs goes live, which is probably going to be more like another quest that we used to unlock the other two forges. Now with all that being said, let's finally get into the actual mystery box keys. Now there are going to be one key in each forge so far. In order to get these keys, there are going to be two shield drones that spawn in between the first and second round. Now you're going to have to shoot both of these shield drones, and after you do, there will be a chest that will spawn somewhere near the forge at the end, and you'll be able to pick it up, and it will give you your key. Now, you don't have to actually complete the forge in order to get these keys, but however, you do have to complete the second round. So without further ado, here is the location of the first two shield drones in the Volunder Forge that you need to shoot in order to get that key. The first one is way out on the left over the ledge, and then you should be able to turn around, and the second one will be way up in the cave. Now after shooting them, make sure you don't forget to collect your chest at the end, for that is the only way to actually get the key. Now next will be the Gofanon Forge. Now if you're looking at the forge and you're on the back half of it, you're going to want to turn around and look at this rubbish over here. One's going to be sitting up top, and then turn to the left, and one was sitting right out here by a doorway. And then last guys will be the Izanami Forge, which these ghosts can be shot pretty much anywhere on the map. 
And on top, there's going to be one on the right side platform by this little pillar. And then the same, there's going to be one on the left side by the pillar in the back corner. Now that's all I got for you guys so far on this infamous mystery box. Now when more information becomes available, I'll be sure to update you. Now if you found this video useful, be sure to give it a like and newcomers of the channel. Make sure you hit that subscribe button if you want to see some more D2 content like this coming out daily.